Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Venom Vlog. And this is just a really quick update from an episode or two ago where I, uh, you know, talked about how MovieWeb put out this uh, article uh, and it had some misleading information in it. And I, I thought it was fairly fair in that video uh, where I was saying like, hey, you know, maybe it was just this mistake or, you know, these things happen. I'm not trying to, you know, just be an a-hole about this because when I was reading it, I don't know, I got like a... I, at first, you know, I reacted on Twitter. I was like, "Hey, this is this is bull, bull crap, you know, whatever." And this is this is garbage uh, reporting. And I obviously I reacted, uh, you know, unfairly. I should have looked into it a little bit more. Uh, but uh, but what was really cool was that I you know I, I did comment on Movie Web's uh, thing on Twitter and said, "Hey, you know, this is." Uh, this is kind of incorrect information. And then I think I shared another uh, website uh, that was posting about it too, uh, um, something Myth. Uh, was it Flickr and Myth? No, it wasn't Flickr and Myth. Yeah, I think it was Flickr and Myth. Um, and I, I shared theirs and I was like, yeah, this is incorrect information. They're just reading this movie web article and they're not actually reading the Vanity Fair article. And that's what I thought was so funny was that uh, Flickering Myth and uh, there was a couple other websites. You guys uh, sent them to me and, I, you know, I was like, whatever. I think it was a... Uh, who was a heroic Hollywood, which is to me, I, I will say heroic Hollywood is a garbage tier uh, uh, source of, of news and movie news, um, because it's just like this one guy who's, uh, you know, I hear from what I hear from numerous people uh, to work with is just a complete unprofessional a hole. Um, and so I'm like, okay. And he posted, you know, all this, art, you know, this stuff about uh, Venom 2 and how it's delayed and that it didn't finish filming and all that. Some of these other articles, they updated theirs, and that's what the whole point of this video is. Um, but he didn't. And I was like, of course he didn't. Probably not yet. He probably will. But um, but that's the thing. He like secretly updated it, right? He didn't post an apology that he they put fake information out there. And he sourced Vanity Fair, which is so funny because his uh, his write up was almost word for word what Flickering Myths was. And Flickering Myth was pretty much copying from uh, your movie web. And then there was someone else that was copying from them too. And you're just like, uh, but I saw most of these other websites, they've already updated their articles. And again, updating them without initialing an apology, which I, I, st I still don't agree with. Um, but, you know, people run their sites how they want to run their sites. It's fine. Whatever. We run things a little differently here, uh, you know, because it's just me. I'm my own boss, so everything reflects back on me. Sometimes I feel like these other sites, they have people that just phone stuff in because they don't care how it reflects on stuff. And and that could be unfair to say in some instances, but I feel like in a lot of instances that's the case uh, because I feel like the one thing I've learned over the past few years working in comics and then even before that in movies and then getting into retail and, and you know, I worked in retail before too um, and working in sales and, and all these things. Like one thing I noticed is work ethic seems to be a problem with a lot of people <laughs> and it's really hard to motivate people to, to um, take pride in their work sometimes uh, because a lot of people think, oh, this is just the job that's going to get me the next job so I don't want to have pride in this job. It's like, well... The more pride you have in this job and the better you do, it will get you that next job a lot faster. I promise you that. So MovieWeb was really cool. They actually wrote me a DM on Twitter and they said, hey, thank you for pointing out the information. And I'm sure I was probably a little bit rude about it on Twitter. So, you know, but that's how I react sometimes. I, I feel like these platforms that are bigger than me should try to do a little bit better. But they did try to explain to me. They said, hey, we talked to the writer of that article and they said there was this, that bit about Home Alone was not originally in the article when he, when you know that person wrote the story like wrote the story for movie web um, and that it all seemed like it was coming across as uh, you know a venom article and I mean I, I guess I have to take their word for that um, I don't think I read the article right when it posted but I did read it on Vanity Fair the day it posted I may not have been like the hour or the second hour that it posted but I did read it that day uh, because like I said I follow all venom movie news anytime it's mentioned I try to follow it and so I saw that and I was like, uh, oh, they mentioned Venom. And I went and read the article and I was like, wow, they mentioned Venom one time. And in when I read it, it did say Home Alone. Uh, it said Home Alone reboot and that these two guys worked on it. So maybe Vanity Fair made a mistake and they had to update theirs like an hour or two later. Who knows? You know, I, I can't speak on that. So I guess that does happen sometimes. Um, and so if that's the case with MovieWeb, then yeah, of course, it's like, hey, I... Um, owe you somewhat of an apology on that. Uh, you know, I actually, I, I'll, I'll own up to it. Uh, even though I don't feel like I made a mistake, I'm going off of the information I had, right? Um, but if that were the case, then then I should say, instead of an apology, although you'll get one too from me because I feel like I was a little harsh on Twitter about it. Um, but uh, so I apologize, MovieWeb. And I appreciate the professionalism because they wrote me and said, hey, we didn't have that information at first. We do now. We're going to update our article and we really appreciate you, um, you know, letting us know. And they deleted their original and posted a new one. I think the link is still kind of the same, but they deleted the original Twitter post, I think, and then posted a new one. Um, so that's really awesome of them. And then, like I said, you know, even when I call people out, it's like, it's not to just, 
it's not to be an a-hole, even though I come across as one, I'm sure, but it's to be like, hey, you know, th that's false information. Please don't put that out there because once MovieWeb did, then Flickering Myth picked it up and then, uh, you know, <laughs> Heroic Hollywood, who you would think Heroic Hollywood, the guy boasts so much about having all these connections, all these things, you would have think he would have reached out to somebody to um, to confirm any of that information that the movie was done filming, you know, and or wasn't done filming or anything. But of course he doesn't because nobody likes the guy. He's a, he's kind of a POS. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, I don't like Heroic Hollywood. It's, it's, and that's not like a personal thing. I haven't met the guy personally, but just based on their reporting, uh, it just comes across really garbaged here. Uh, very clickbaity, and that's fine. That gets you money. That gets you know. But we've already established in my in my world, I don't like that approach because although it might get you the clicks and it might help you grow, it uh, does nothing for your integrity. It does nothing for uh, people taking you seriously um, or trusting you as a source. In my opinion, I'm um, sure you're going to have your loyal fans, but uh, but you know, sheep are one thing. Heart, you know, fans are another thing. And so, uh, so you know, you go gather sheep, that's great. <laughs> they follow you around. Uh, but you, when you gather, you know, in, try to gather as many independent thinkers and show people news from various angles, that's what we try to do here is we try to be fair and we try to get accurate information out. And uh, and so, and it's easier to do that because I'm just one dude uh, and I have a lot of free time right now so I can research a little bit easier. Uh, but once I start getting back to work and stuff, of course, you know, we all make mistakes, I get it. But MovieWeb was really cool for writing me and saying like, hey, you know what, uh, we, you know, we didn't have that information at first. So, um, so, you know, here, here we are now updating our, our stuff and we thank you for reaching out to us. And that right there was like, that's professionalism. That is super professional. They said, hey, you know what? We did make a mistake. We went back, we reread the article. We talked to the person who wrote the article, our article, and we, you know, there was communication there. And I love that. And that's really great. So, um, so yeah, I apologize for being kind of rude about it on uh, Twitter, movie web. Um, I definitely own up to that for sure. And I, I'm glad you guys showed me that, you know, it was something I didn't think about. If there was information that wasn't in the article when your person first started on it, um, I can kind of understand that. I Again, I got to take their word for that because when I jumped on that article that day, I saw the Home Alone thing. But, you know, I'm not calling anyone a liar. I'll take their word for it. And especially since you did the right thing and you, and you uh, reworded the article and you put in there that it went into post-production and all that stuff. And you and you changed the quotes and stuff to be meaning towards more towards Home Alone. That's totally awesome. I couldn't ask for more. And the fact that you went out of your way to write me a message, you know, and again, I'm a small you know, YouTuber, like I'm not, uh, no, not a lot of people come to me for stuff, uh, but I, the hardcore Venom fans do. And so when they see a bigger website report on this stuff, they do, they come right to me, you know, the, at least the ones that know that I exist and they'll come to me and go, is this true? And like I said, I even have a couple other YouTubers who have much bigger platforms than me who will sometimes reach out to me and go like, Hey, I got this information. Is it true? And I'm like, well, I, I'm not like connected to Sony or anything, uh, but, uh, but I will do the research and see what I can find. And uh, because I've worked in movies before and because I worked in TV and other things uh, and in press and, and written stuff and written articles, like I can, I know how to do some research, not a ton of research. I and mean, it doesn't mean the research I find is going to be accurate or it's going to be right. So always take things with a grain of salt, but I try my best to bring accurate information to people. And it's nice to see websites uh, acknowledge that, hey, we made a mistake and we're going to fix it. So thank you, MovieWeb. A uh, big shout out to you guys. You guys earned a follow for me on Twitter for that. When I got that message, I was it, it was really nice. Actually, it was really nice to see because at the end of the day, I don't care about who you are, even Heroic Hollywood. Like I, if he put out accurate Venom information, I would probably I, I wouldn't have an issue with the guy because he he could he could post about like Avengers and, and 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 you know that kind of stuff all he wants and get it wrong. I'm not invested in that. Uh, it does show me that there's you know uh, there's no research done over there um, at his website, but it but it still doesn't irk me because nobody's writing me in a DM going hey they posted this you know and they only do that when Venom pops up and so when I see the same type of websites uh, being DM to me with inaccurate information from people who watch the show, or if I find it myself, it does make me kind of almost blacklist them in a way, like where I'm just like, okay, well, if any news comes out of this site regarding Venom, I have to go confirm it from at least three other places before I even repeat it. And that's just how I treat certain websites. So not it's not a blacklist, obviously, like who am I? I don't have any power to, to really do that. But at least for information, when I see something that says Heroic Hollywood, I go, okay, yeah, I gotta go confirm it from other places because there's no way uh, that that, uh, like I'm just gonna believe that, you know, based on the reporting I've seen over there. So uh, yeah, I'm sorry if you work over at Heroic Hollywood and you, and you think you do a great job, 
you know, more power to you, you know, do, do your best as always. I know a lot of us do, uh, but I'm just not going to make you my main source of information uh, ever really. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, unless you get like a direct interview with like Tom Hardy or, or, you know, Andy Serkis, it's a direct interview and there's direct quotes that I can pull from. Um, that's the only way I would ever, <laughs> ever use them as a source. Uh, but movie web, thank you. Flickering myth, I think changed theirs. I think there was one other site. So I'll try to put that name of that website here, uh, that someone else sent me. And I think I saw theirs and they updated it too. So, um, so yeah, you know, that's great. And I know a lot of them talk to each other, like movie web might talk to flickering myth and you know, they might all, it's a network, right? And so they all probably talk to each other and communicate with each other. Um, but then when I saw they all kind of made changes to theirs, but heroic Hollywood kind of didn't, uh, I was kind of like, okay so i guess these guys talk uh but this guy doesn't talk or, or they don't want to talk to him maybe uh, or maybe they did and he just didn't have time to update it yet and he is you know I'll give everyone the benefit of the doubt but uh yeah anyway long long thing i wanted to make this just like five minutes turned out to be 10 minutes uh but uh yeah i have a lot to say about this stuff and i wanted to explain uh, certain things and also just give the proper respect to movie web for being professional that's really awesome and i thank you guys for doing that and thanks again for the dm and thanks for getting you know a more reliable information out there for venom fans because that's at the end of the day all i care about i just want to make sure venom fans are informed that they're not going around uh commenting and spreading rumors and lies about stuff um and uh, you know and then i had i had a lot of people come to me and go uh not a lot but you know a couple people come to me and go Hey, which is a lot for me. Like if more than three people come to me, I'm like, oh, that's a lot. Because like, normally I get like one DM or two DMs. Uh, but this was, you know, like four or five DMs going, hey, I thought you said the movie finished filming. And I'm like, it did. You saw me cover all that. Like, I'm, you know, I'm not lying to you. And I'm like, oh, crap, did I miss something? And the, yeah, then when I looked into it more, I was like, oh, yeah, no, I was still accurate on my information. And and these other sites just missed a little thing or it wasn't there, an original article. Whatever it is, fair enough, but it's fixed now. So all of you guys out there who are following Movie Web and Flickering Myth and stuff, um, you know, they got updated information. So, you know, make sure you thank them for, for that. And uh, and I'm thanking them here. So thank you guys. And again, sorry for being a little rude on Twitter. I do come across that way when I see misinformation out there. Um, but, uh, you know, I will, you know, it's something I'm working on to try to be more understanding of, uh, of how mistakes can be made. So hopefully accept my apology. Thanks so much. See you guys in the future. Peace.